Hey everybody, how are you today? I'm doing good. Today I have a walkthrough of my 53 essential templates for good notes, note shelf, and notability. So we're gonna do a walkthrough of what you're going to get. So first of all, um, when you download your um, file, you'll open it and you'll see this and you'll just swipe and there's just a little bit of information. I provide the colors for the um, covers that I'm using and also the stickers that I'm using just in case you're the type of person that likes to color match. And then I have my contact information here and then you can click on the little box and it'll take you to the paper options page. So what you have is you have 53 different paper options. And then this box down here is the extra covers. And when you click on this, it'll just take you to the covers and then you can just swipe. Um, because these are paper templates, um, you can use the thumbnails to get back to the main page to go through everything. Um, before we get into the actual uh, paper templates, I wanna show you what makes this special. So what makes this paper template pack especially uh, neat is that it can be used in both landscape and portrait mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the first uh, first paper template and you can see in landscape mode it's split down the middle with just a very slight shadow so that so it's kind of um, like if you're opening a book. Now so that's if you want to use it in landscape mode. If you want to use it in portrait mode all you have to do is um, obviously switch the orientation and then double tap in the middle twice. And it takes you to, per it'll fit perfectly in portrait mode. And then you just swipe either side. This will also work if you're in writing mode. So let's go back. Okay, so let's pretend we're writing here. And then we want to switch it You just lay it down, double tap, and then there you go. It fits absolutely perfectly. So no matter how you want to use um, these papers, whether it be uh, portrait or landscape mode, it will work perfectly. Now, I am in Good Notes when I am doing this, okay, With when I'm doing the double tapping. Uh, in Note Shelf and Notability, you'll have to actually... Uh, use your fingers to you know swipe it in and out. It, I, I don't believe they support the double tapping like Good Notes does, so just a little heads up on that. But with Good Notes, it really makes it quite slick. So now that we've gone through that, let's go through all the papers that you get. So you get uh, line paper, a little bit wider line paper. You get a dark line paper. Uh, graph, a little bit bigger graph, a dark graph, and then you get two dot grids and a dark dot grid, which you might not be able to see super clear, but it is there. Then you get a uh, blank, dark blank, and then you get a full page with no shadow in the middle. Then you get hex paper. Now you have um, a ruled or a, you know, margined, margined with a little wider lines. And now we have Cornell, Cornell with a little bit wider lines. And this is what I like to call brainstorm paper because it has a variety of lines, boxes, checklists, and then a dot grid at the bottom. And then you have that same brainstorm paper with the dot grid. Now you have a ruled paper or you know margin paper with dot grid, margin paper with graph, and margin paper with blank. Uh, now we have the split line down the middle. And now we have lines and check check boxes. And then we have story paper. So you have uh, for an illustration or image, and then you have lines. And now we have dual uh, story paper, I call it. It reminds me of the story paper in elementary school. Now we go into our uh, lists. So you have four column lists, four column lined, four column lined and check boxes. I'll blow it up just in case you can't see. There's little check boxes here. And now uh, we have uh, eight. You know, it's segmented into eight with the same pattern. So it's blank and then lines and then lines with little check boxes. And now we have 12 
and with the same pattern, 12 with lines, 12 with lines and check boxes. Now we have a uh, weekly layout. This is uh, for you in case you'd like to plan your work schedule or school schedule or whatever. So you have a little bit darker border over here so you can write, um, you know, whether it be your classes or however, however you want to lay it out. It's just a nice little weekly planner. And now you have like a, a weekly slash schedule. So you can plan with hours. The hours go from six to 10. And now we get into uh, checklists. So this would be, let's see, this is a 12, I believe. So you have 12 across. And then you have the 12 across, but you have lines down here if you need for notes. And now we have um, 12 again, but they're more narrow. And again, the narrow, but you have space for notes on the bottom. And now these are seven column checklists. And then seven column checklists for are with lines so you can write notes. Now we get into more specialized papers. So these are project papers. So you have a description, a steps for your project, the due date, when uh, you can check it off when it's done, and then a space for notes and a space for sketches. Now we get into goal setting pages, whether this be personal goals, work goals, project goals. Uh, you have your purpose, motivation, notes, and then you have objectives and steps due dates, and then um, a little spot to write if it's ongoing. So if it's a monthly, weekly, or daily uh, step. Now we get into meeting notes. I think no matter what you do, you probably have some sort of a meeting. So you have purpose, who uh, attendees, action items at the meeting, uh, who is going to do it, the due date, and then you can check it off as you go, a summary of your meeting notes, date of the next meeting, and then a spot for like your actual meeting notes. Uh, I've also included passwords. This is a password page and assignment checklist. And it has your due date, the class, description, whether it's done, turned in, and then what your uh, points or grade was on that assignment. Then I have a transaction log similar to your checkbook for you to keep uh, transactions. And then we have a budgeting template and a seating. So this is just kind of fun. Um, so these are 26 pigs, little piggy banks. So you can write, uh, if you get paid, you know, twice, twice a month, every two weeks, you can write that in or color it in and keep track of what you're saving. And this is 52 pigs. So in case you get paid weekly or want to save weekly, you can um, color it in and, and list what you're saving on this side, or maybe put a picture of what you're saving for as motivation. And then we have a little book tracker for all of uh, my readers out there. So you can write or color in the books as you go. And now we get into the cover. So you have white, um, multicolored, and I just included these covers. They also coordinate with the stickers. So if you like to uh, match things up or if you match, if you're a student and you match your classes, um, this way you can, there should be a color for everything. So that is everything. And then we'll just swipe up back here. And so this is that, this is your paper template. So you get 53 papers, 15 covers, and then um, I believe it's, uh, I think it's 400 stickers. I don't have that on, off the top of my head, but that is the essential paper pack. So I hope you like it. If you have any questions, please message me on Etsy or contact me on my website. I am always happy to help. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.